Hey everyone, I'm here with Kevin Breen, the founder of the Las Vegas Story Slam. We've just attended a Story Slam event. How did you think it went this evening? Uh, it was exciting. It was great. It was the second Story Slam that we've had. Uh, and so it was nice to see the momentum from the first one kind of continue along. What inspired you to start hosting these events? Uh, I've been talking to people about story slams and storytelling podcasts like This American Life and Snap Judgment, all these M NPR shows. And uh, so many people have been excited about the idea, uh, but there didn't seem to be an active story slam going on in Las Vegas at the time. So uh, I was hoping that one would develop. It kind of didn't, so I decided to take the lead and make it happen. Just make it happen. Well, congratulations and thank you. Thank you, thank you. What would it take now that you've gotten it started to help grow this program? Well, I think a big thing is that, uh, for one thing, awareness has to be there. We're, we're brand new and so uh, we're hoping to attract people who are interested in the craft of live storytelling to come participate maybe multiple times the story slam format is great to kind of grow and workshop your stories so uh, I think the biggest thing we need to to grow is to pull people from the community who are enthusiastic about the concept and about the form of uh, short storytelling in true stories told live and in one sentence what is a story slam in one sentence. All right. So uh, a story slam comes from the tradition of beat poetry slams. And in a story slam, storytellers come and tell a true personal story that's five minutes or less about themselves, their lives, in order to connect with the audience and the broader public. And the winner from each slam advances into the next round of the competition. Very cool. That was basically a sentence. I can say, I a story slam is an event, kind of like a stand-up comedy event, but where people tell personal stories about their lives. Oh, wow. That, yeah, great job. <laughs> Amazing. What inspired you to start being a storyteller? I mean, you might have done it personally, and I feel, as a teacher, I imagine you tell stories all the time, but to get up in front of an audience and share. Well, I'm a writer, and, um, you know, starting at a very early age before I could write I would tell stories and um, I also have written some plays and I did it was a theater arts major so to me you know the performance and writing you know they all kind of go together we we can't really have stories always live just on the page sometimes it's nice to have them come to life and really you know what is literature about more than just like sharing our stories of being human so what is a piece of advice you would give to someone who has never attended a story slam and someone who thinks that they would like to share their story at a story slam? Well, I'd say do both. Um, if you're feeling a little bit apprehensive about coming and sharing your story, come and watch some people sharing stories and you'll see that we really like have the range from people who are like polished and they've obviously done this a hundred times to people who just get up there and just share. And we welcome everybody to share and really, you know, sometimes it's that person who's never shared before, just like Ashley, our winner tonight, who really connects with the audience.